Hello everybody, welcome to Bush Gardens and well, we have a line already to get into security. Well, first thing we're going to do though is, well, I guess we're not going to try those kiosks. We're going to try the other kiosk over there. Had to come through the Build-A-Bear section just to see if they have any Halloween merchandise for your bears. And boy, do these look cute. Oh yeah, I can see getting one of my bears or uh, I think I got a giraffe. But getting them an outfit, look at these. They still have the rest of the good stuff. Good morning, precious. There goes Kaylin. That's his second or third round. Pretty quick, you. got Cody training up there. There's somebody up in the panel that I don't remember, but not that new. Here we go. Oh, already. Already it's locked up. You got the wall. Yeah, I got the wall. We got the wall. Another beautiful day here at Bush Gardens. She's running hot, but no over speed. Oh well, maybe later on today. When walking around Iron Gwazi, you gotta be extremely careful. You may find bits and pieces of the ride, like we just did. Well, it, it's not an important piece of the ride. It was a piece that peeled off of the wheels. Not permitted and cannot be stored at the ride. Please place them in a locker or leave them with a non-rider. For your safety, you must They kind of look like that. Little pieces of the, the plastic that falls off the wheel. So I found another piece. And right here would be a common place to find these pieces. No, nope, that's a feather. Because right here is the transfer track. And that's where it goes into the station, so wind, if anything, would blow it off. You'd probably find a whole bunch of pieces down in there somewhere. But, yeah. So we found another piece of Iron Gwazi from the tire right here. Nothing but good vibes today. I have a feeling we're going to have a great day here at Bush Gardens. 
Not sure how much we can see from over here. Yeah. But right back there, beyond that area, is Hallow Scream Circus of Fear. We are not allowed past this point, so this is all we're gonna show you. They're gonna put the walls up in that area. So that way, um, yeah, they're gonna put walls up so that way they cover up the area where you're not supposed to see. Coming up to our gator friends. They're all chilling out in the water over here. Yeah. You know, you got a turtle on your back. He's missing a couple of toes in front of him. We've got another guy in here, uh, tripod is missing most of them. He got some other ones. Yeah. That one's missing the lens. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I've got a couple big ones at home. Oh, nice fish here, in there, there too, it looks like. Yeah, look, these guys are these. As of August 30th, we still have a dead end here in the Mayambi Reserve. We can only see the chimpanzees. The gorillas are all blocked off. Checking in on our murder bloops. There's one of them right there. Hi! How you doing? No, I am not food. And we'll check out on the other murder bloop over here. Looks like this one's sleeping. Aww. Oop. Yeah, this one decided I'm gonna rest. And it looks like we got a couple more boards up over here for some possible photo photo opportunities and it does look like there's some kind of pictures behind it so but hey that would be cool get some photo opportunities and yeah can't see the murder bloops now they're all the way back at the other end then we have in the cheat hunt plaza the wicker man we really need more fans like this Yes, and the other kind of fans too. So, if you really like this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really, really like it and you're not yet, be a real good fan like this fan and hit that subscribe button. They really didn't hide this well, but that to me looks like a fog machine. Oh yeah. This is actually when you're coming out from Stranglewood. The exit from Stranglewood right here. You have a fog machine. So chances are with this area cleared out, they'll probably have some scare actors out here too to scare the mess out of ya from the fog and here we go uh, what appears to be possibly another photo opportunity here and they have it cover covered up yeah well this one looks just all black Booth over here, probably for some drinks for Hollow Screen. Maybe the blood bags. Of course, we all know those blood bags are all um, alcoholic. They're all alcoholic. 
Yeah. Right, so now we're gonna head over back to Cheetah Hunt and get on our ride on Cheetah Hunt and maybe go on the on the sky ride. 24. Ooh yeah, hot seats. Best seats in town. First we gotta click. There we go, we clicked. What does that look to you like the ears right there? Is that the purpose? I have no idea. Monster Inc. Oh. Now here we're gonna get. Oh wow. Look out for the skunk apes. Get a nice view of the scare zone over here. And do we see any, uh... No, I don't see them in the water. No. I don't see them on land either. Huh. They don't have any hippos out. Huh. But we do have these cranes over here along with the gazelles oh look how cute they are looks like some more hollow screen decorations there and behind the train station and as we mentioned uh in our live stream there's two over there there's a, more than two of them over there. Oh. There's uh, the Nyalas. But as we mentioned in our live stream yesterday, uh, Serengeti Flyer is closed for an extended period of time. So uh, I'm going to say three, four. Let, let's just say we'll probably won't see it back open until 2025. I'm um, sorry folks and they still have this all barricaded over here with some more hollow screen decorations and there we have the land manatees one two three of them right over here in this back area. Hello land manatees! Finished product of Phoenix Rising.
that I don't see Phoenix Rising running. Oh, I do see people in line and people are on the ride. They just haven't dispatched one yet. Falcon's Fury, the same thing. I haven't seen anybody dispatch on Falcon's Fury yet. I still hope uh, it hasn't gotten hit by lightning and I hope we can ride it today. Definitely would like to get an aerial shot of the Scorpion property and there it is, Scorpion I did see running. Keep in mind guys, you have only a few more days left. Actually, by the time this is out, you might have only a couple of days left. September 2nd, Labor Day, is the last day you can ride and experience the sting of the scorpion. As we noted before, this little shortcut path here has some decorations here. Oh, and they're getting a lighting or something. Ah, good old Ragnarok. Now this is gonna be the Ragnarok Spare Zone. I like the fact that they have like a Viking theme to it. You'll see. Good. like a Viking type of theme. Definitely like that one there. Okay. Seashells, ooh, with blood in it. Oh, I like this, I like it already. Oh, this is gonna be an ex exciting scare zone to go through, guys. Yep. And we have the train underneath us. Still haven't dispatched that train yet? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, but we're not gonna make it in time. Well, they're not gonna make it in time. Some of those feet 
got within a foot of hitting that net. That was seriously scary, guys. About a foot away from some of those feet that net is. Do not let tall people ride Phoenix Rising. And there's the three land manatees all together. Remember when this used to be the junkyard? Well, now it's a terror through time. 25 years of hollow scream all wrapped up in one little area. You know, for a Labor Day weekend, I'm surprised that it is this quiet. Um, yeah, the, the longest wait time I've seen so far was Cheetah Hunt, and that's at 35 minutes. So, right now, Iron Gwazi's at a 15 minute wait. And we're heading back to Pantopia to give our final thoughts on Scorpion. Is that Gora Cafe? It looks like it's open. Are you guys ready to face your fears? That hollow scream? Now well, we're now entering the skunk ape area. Sawgrass Slaughter, Legend of the Skunk Ape. So we gotta beware of skunk apes around here. And uh, Dan, these cobwebs look like they're growing even more. They are definitely ready for hollow scream here. Yeah, I don't think they're planning on getting rid of these. These will look great for hollow scream. Yeah, yeah, we got the skunk ape there. Oh, I'm sorry, oh look out for the gator. Uh oh, somebody escaped the cage. Oh no, the gator's gonna get me. I had to do it. Everybody else is doing it, so I had to do it. Well, like I mentioned earlier, this side of the Mayambi Reserve is closed off. So you can only see the chimpanzees. You cannot see the gorillas. Now we're coming up to our tuxedo birds and in the background yet yeah, we see falcon's fury getting ready to drop 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 there she goes
Hi. Well, you gonna follow the camera? You're gonna follow my finger though. Hey. No. Nope. Hey, so cute. So we have another area here for a hollow scream. Another scare zone. This, I think, is going to be the good old spot for. Um, uh, yeah. We're gonna have. Uh, oh, I know what this is. Yeah, with all the the fluorescent lighting and everything. Um, I forget what they called it. But this is cool decorations here. Uh, and somebody's going to jump out at you right there. Don't give it all away. Well, it's pretty obvious when they got that all built up. You're not going to give anything away there. Yeah, I forgot what they called this. Had the fairies and the nymphs and the mystical creatures and and all that stuff. I wonder if they're gonna have a sign over here. Nope. Oh. Hi Tank. How you doing? And that's uh, Bubba or Jimmy up there. And all the rest of them are way in the back probably. Had a tour group. Ah, oh, there's another one way over there, hiding in the shade. And here we are with the Sin City Scare Zone. Let's check and see if Gert's in. Why don't we? Yeah, she was over here at door number four. Oh, they put the doorknob back on her door. Hey, Gert, you here? Gert? I'm sorry I didn't bring any Cheerios. No. She's not going to answer the door. I didn't bring any snacks. So we are here looking at Scorpion for the final time before it goes away in a couple of days, guys. Well, they're going to close it. I don't think it's going to go away soon. But we're going to get you uh, some aerial shots. And when they start the construction, we'll have the construction shots for you. Just like we did for Phoenix Rising, this new project yeah we're gonna do the same thing for scorpion is up and running. back there well they actually put um, some of the uh, uh, rigging work there they put a wall there and they put some of the cue stands here and I don't know what they put that up there for but they're getting ready for another hollow stream house back there so, yeah, looks like we're going to be ready for another house back there. 
Uh, home for the holidays is gone. That is done, and I forgot what they're gonna put in place, but it is a new house. All right, we got... Oh, yeah, I forgot my hat again. <laughs> but we got front row here. Once you have been seated, please pull your lap bar down to your waist. And if you are riding by yourself, pull the lap bar down beside you. Also, secure all loose articles, such as hats and glasses. During your ride, Sorry, please just keep your hands, getting it locked in arms, place there, guys. Legs, and feet inside the car at all times. Now, sit back and enjoy your ride yep. as you experience the sting. For some reason, it doesn't look like it's getting a battery. Oh, oh well. Scorpion. And exit to your left. We thank you for riding the Scorpion and hope that you'll enjoy the remainder of your stay here at Bush Gardens. Just came off of uh, Phoenix Rising after doing our live stream and came across some little mini puzzles. We have readings from Bush Gardens and Iron Gwazi and a Phoenix. Oh, here we go. Phoenix Rising little mini puzzle. Or actually, they're called micro puzzles. Micro puzzles for massive fun. See if they have any other we we definitely know about the shirts that they got here and guys the blue shirts are for adults 
Grays is for kids. These gray shirts here, they are the youth shirts. So yes, I went ahead and bought an extra large youth shirt. So that might be a, a giveaway eventually. We have Cheetah Hunt mini building blocks. Uh, I don't see anything new. We got the new Phoenix. There's cups up there. Looks like a lot of the Phoenix Rising merchandise is going. Going, going. Ooh, this is new. Yeah, that's new. I like that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and ride Kumba here. Kumba is not as old as Scorpion. Uh, but it is a 31 and a half years old or so. It's the second oldest ride here at the park. And after Scorpion gets taken down, it'll be the oldest ride here at the park. And out there we got the retention pond. And oh yeah, they got a, they got a little tractor over there. So maybe we'll catch it on this side. So they cut the grass over there. I didn't get any grass on my fingertips. Uh, but they do have some equipment back there. Um, we'll have to check the video later on to see if uh, I see any of the survey markers or utility markers or something. But yeah, definitely had uh, some workers back there doing something. Well, bad news. Congo is down. So there's no rapids that we're going to get wet at. So I guess we're going to have to go to the Shikra Splash Zone. Still no changes over here. Yeah, still no changes over here. Yeah, it is a hot day today, guys. Uh, unfortunately, Congo is down today. So... Our next best guess is to head over to Shikra to get wet. And that's what we're planning on doing. Uh, it looks like... Uh, I don't know if I saw this last week. But it is definitely up this week. Looks like some more photo shots. Photo uh, opportunities for hollow screen look over here and we still have work walls over here don't we yeah we still have work walls back there see our uh, orangutans up there 
Oh, one of them's up there. You don't know. Oh. And we got this one down here. Hey, Willie. Really gonna go climb. Look at that dreadlocks. Go, Willie, go. That was cool. So with Hollow Scream comes a new show, Cirque Extreme. The sweat just pouring off of me right now, so guess what? Yeah, we gotta get wet. Uh, let's get our spot over here. I think it was right about here. Right by where the sign is. We're gonna get ready to get real wet. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, me too. I didn't get wet enough. Nope. Maybe I've been watching. Too bad, too late. You got more of it than I did. <laughs> I just got it on this half. This half is still dry. Oh well. Already starting to sweat and we just got wet from Shikra. Yeah. It's a hot one today. Okay, nap time's over. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't want to nap through this ride. It's too much fun. Ready? Two. To a complete stop that time. That's interesting. Drop. Now we get to get everybody else wet. That was fun. Good breaks too. <laughs> I guess you have to have good brakes when they get it all wet, you know, with water. <laughs> yeah, I got wet again. <laughs> Had to. It was just way too hot. We're about ready to wrap up our day here at Bush Gardens. But we got a few more things to show you before we leave for the day. Um, first off, we have a scare zone. with a whole bunch of Christmas trees. Yeah, I showed you this last week. 
And at this time, we're gonna actually go over here, actually go in here and check out some of these. So I guess this is a place where you would go. And why would they have a wood chipper here? That yeah, looks like it's got more than wood in there. You better watch out. I wonder why. More Christmas trees. All good places for scare actors to come out and spook you. Oh, and some of the props, the shovels and stuff. Freshly chopped. And here's our next scare zone, which is Little Nightmares. I think. Yeah, I believe they're going to put the Little Nightmares over here. And these houses were so cute. I kind of like this area. I don't think they'll be playing that Sesame Street music though during Hello Scream. No. So. They did it last time. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Hi <laughs> guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found some friends. As they were going in the opposite direction, speeding through. Alright, so, yep. Yeah. One other thing we wanted to do before we closed out this video. Somebody wanted us to go check and make sure that the sound for Air Grover was still uh, muted or not. So we're going to go over there to Air Grover and go check out and see if it still goes. Dee -nee 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 -nee. Yes, we all know that sound very well. Nope, the dispatch sound is still muted. Well, that'll do it for another day at Bush Gardens. As we said, goodbye to Scorpion. Bye-bye. And uh, saw a whole bunch of Hallow Scream decorations and everything. Wonderful day here. Yep. Of course, I'm still wet because we just went over to the Sesame Place and got wet in our, uh, in the kitty splash zone. So, and of course, before we go, we couldn't leave Bush Gardens without saying hi to our pink chickens. Hello, pink chickens. Goodbye. We'll see you next week. And for all of you out there, we will catch you the next time at the parks.